Welcome back. Our next topic in math with Miss Flora is going to be probability. So you guys are going to see this in your packets in the next week or so. Obviously, that'll only matter for this year. We'll change it for next year. But anyway, there's two things we're going to talk about in probability, and that is the fundamental counting principle and a tree diagram. And so kind of the other stuff I'll just breeze over because you should really already know it as far as what words mean, as far as unlikely, impossible, um, highly unlikely, likely, the chance of something happening, that's probability. And so those are kind of common sense pieces that I think you can work through and they'll be on your study guide. But the tougher parts are what I'm going to tackle here today. And so the first one is called the fundamental counting principle. And so don't judge my jacked up chart because I didn't use a ruler this time. It's nowhere near as close as my circle was perfect. So, oh, and are you counting? How many times have you seen this shirt? Keeping track? All right, so the fundamental counting principle says that we take totals for each of our categories, and then if we multiply them together, it'll tell us how many total possible combinations we can create from the data that we're given. So I have three categories, drinks, main, and sides. And so if you've been picking up your food from the school, I kind of try to throw in what you might be getting, and I know it's not everything, but these are kind of your choices for the food from school. So um, for drinks, it's white milk, chocolate milk, and juice. So that's three total things times for your main, it's like uncrustable and blueberry bread. I'm not sure what else, but that's two things. And then for your side choices, I know that there have been apples, carrots, broccoli, applesauce, and orange, and that's not everything, but I just picked some because our tree diagram is already going to be enormous as it is. So one, two, three, four, five total things. And so three times two is six times five is 30. So that means that I can have 30 total combinations when I put all of these different things together. So 30 different ways you could eat your meals if you got the food from the school. So I'm going to show you what that data looks like in a tree diagram. And so here's how we start it. We take whatever our first category is, and those are going to be like the trunks of our tree. And so my first category is drinks, so I'm going to have three tree trunks. So white milk, chocolate milk, and juice. So I'm going to abbreviate everything so that we're not here all day long. So white milk, chocolate milk, and juice. And notice how I spread them out. I didn't put them right up next to each other because I'm going to need some room for these branches. So my main dishes, there's only two of each. So that means, so I've done this category, now I'm working on this one. So off of each of these, I need two lines like this. So I'm branching out on a tree diagram. <laughs> Get it? All right, so uncrustable blueberry bread. Uncrustable blueberry bread. Uncrustable blueberry bread on each of them. I've shown that. Now this one's gonna be tricky, right? Because we got a lot of stuff going on here. I should have made it less. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, which I already did. I don't have to count that again. So that means off of every current branch, I need five more branches. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 Now you see why we left room? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, A, C, B, A, S, O, 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 A, C, B, A, S, O. So here's our tree diagram. For this information that we already had in the chart, we did the fundamental counting principle. So this says that we should have 30 combinations and this is how we check. We only count the outside branches. Don't count anything else. So I'm counting all of these. You could use a formula to figure that out quickly. If not, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right? So that means I have 30 combinations. I could then list them out I'm only gonna do a couple, we're not doing this whole thing, just so you know what it looks like, you can list them out. So it would be 
white milk, uncrustable, apple. White milk, uncrustable, carrot. So I'll go this way. Uncrustable, apple. White milk, uncrustable, carrot. White milk, uncrustable, white milk, uncrustable, whatever B stands for, broccoli. White milk, uncrustable, applesauce, giant comma. White milk, uncrustable, orange. White milk, uncrustable, orange. You get it? Get it? And then we keep going. White milk. So WMBBA, WMBBC, on and on and on. 30 times, because that's what this told us, that it was 30. Then we listed it out and see that it's 30. And then if we wanted to know what each of the actual combinations are, we would make a list. So these are the parts of probability that you're gonna to have to work through. The toughest, I think, are tree diagrams and just remembering what fundamental counting principle is. It's not that it's a tough concept, it's just a whole bunch of words to describe a concept that's actually fairly simple. So this is probability and I'll see you next time.